Oh boy, there is another raid coming up. This is a request that I've received a lot, but I haven't actually done anything about it yet. Finally, I've decided to do it. It is Infinite Bad Omen in Minecraft, and now there is another raid that's about to start. There is a lot of lag behind me. I can actually feel it at the moment because there are a lot of mobs besieging this single village house. Now, the other raid is actually approaching from the other side, but I have successfully created an infinite loop of raids. As you can see here, raids remaining have disappeared, but there is no way they can escape unless like dig a tunnel underneath their house. But I'm going to kill about half of them just so I can actually record a video. Is that still too laggy? Yeah, maybe. There is one villager inside that house. Okay, it's actually manageable right now. Okay, another raid's coming up. So this is this is looping forever. Again, raid is remaining, infinity. So after that, another raid immediately starts up after that. There is no stopping this raid. And uh, just to show you what's inside this village house. Poor guy. You're, you're fine. I actually created a ladder going up here because I wanted to know what it'd be like to just stare at this mob of mobs. I can go into survival mode momentarily. So now they're going to start focusing on me instead of the villager. Once I go back to creative mode, they will still start shooting at me. And I don't know why. This must be a glitch. Whoa. This has to be a glitch in the snapshot. 20W19A. They're invincible as well. Nothing they can do. You can't kill them. This is so loud. The pillagers, once they get hurt, because they'll start attacking each other, the witches will heal them. Then they'll attack the witches. The witches will heal themselves. Then the witches will heal the pillagers after the pillagers shoot themselves, just like what's happening at the moment. I don't know what's going on right now. Do they want to kill the villager or what's going on? Why are they so confused? Because I'm going to explain how I'm looping this entire raid process, because this is actually what's kind of fascinating, and I had a lot of trouble doing this. As you all know, there is a limit of six raids if you have the maximum bad omen effect. Now, I've removed that limit, so now, anytime it ends, it will just start up another raid immediately. So, the first wave is going to come from here, and it takes a while for them to actually approach the village, but there is only one villager here, so they're all going to go over here. Now, the moment they approach the villager, they will kill themselves and they will clone themselves without the raid information. So the game thinks the raid has concluded. I, I did a super flat world, so it's easy for me to find them. But this is probably the only way to notify the game that the raid has concluded, and it is to kill the current raid members. I've tried many different ways to like modify the NBT to reduce the wave value, but for some reason that breaks the wave and then actually completely screws up the game. So now you can see what's going on. Once they enter, they've just cloned themselves with the same hand items. So like, so I've just copied all the data over uh, for all the mobs, even the witches and the ravages with this bad omen effect that constantly loops because I'm inside here and the game thinks that I have the bad omen, just triggers a raid, kills them, summons another lot, kills them, completely cycles the process with a single villager inside this house. Because all you need is one door and one villager that's safe and never dies. So now you just have this whole lot of mobs that want to kill you, even if you're in creative, but they also want to kill the villager inside. They're, they're completely confused. So what I'm going to do is go over to survival mode, and you can see what it's like. I'm going to try and get myself inside the house, but it is completely impossible. There's the other, yeah, you want to come over, but it's just impossible for me to tell. Can I get inside this house? I wonder. I can't get inside the house because there are too many pillagers, vindicators, whatever. But that's what it's like. This is what it feels like to have, or well, just a single house, because I wanted to show you um, with the cleanest example or presentation what it may look like if you constantly had Bad Omen cycling over and over again for the player. I do have to kill the arrows. I should have done that, but... Oh, well, I'm going to open the door and let them in. No. Why don't you want to kill the villager? I'm so confused. Like, he's right here. This is your mortal enemy, but you've decided not to do it. <laughs> this is so much fun. Thank you to everyone who asked me to do this. I don't know why I delayed this. Maybe I thought it was impossible. The hardest part for this was actually to trick the game into thinking that the raid has ended. Um, the only way to do that is to kill the original mobs and summon the same copy. So that's what I've done. And now they will surround the house again with the raid of infinity. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like, subscribe for more creative content. If you have any other infinity video ideas, let me know. I can't really think of too much. That's why I haven't made a lot of infinity videos, but I'm sure there are a lot of them out there. I just haven't thought of it myself. Subscribe for more creative content. Take care.